Hello, my name is Matt Allwright and you're in my back garden, uh, which is where I'm going to be spending the big sleep out. And tonight, today, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm putting together my shelter for the evening using just these things that you see behind you here. Uh, cardboard boxes, some bubble wrap, uh, some insulating material and other assorted things which may not be necessary but um, might make it more pleasurable and enjoyable. Injecting a little bit of my own thing, my own twist, my own take, if you like, on proceedings. If you're ready, let's begin. The first thing we've got to do is establish an insulated base. That is absolutely crucial. If you have not got something that protects you from the ground, you're gonna get cold. So we need to beef up the insulation straight away. As you can see, there's a bit of a problem. I'm six foot one. None of the boxes that we have is six foot one. So they're gonna have to fit my body shape. We're gonna have to join them together somehow. So th this tape is not gonna cut it. Look at, look at the width there of the tape. This is your standard office tape, all right? I'm gonna recommend that you, you don't use this kind of tape. Hold on. So I would recommend you use this much thicker packing tape and if you can keep it with this kind of matte brown exterior it's going to make the whole thing look really really good yeah Thick. okay so to start with the basics if you're going to make it through the big sleep out you need to be warm and you need to be dry so that means that wherever you're going to be sleeping has to be nicely insulated and it needs to be waterproof or it needs to be undercover one of those two things. So as you're preparing it, always think to yourself, am I gonna make it through tonight feeling warm and dry? This is, this is the sort of box that you wanna prioritize. It's got nice thick sides, so it's got a lot of insulation, a lot of thermal qualities. And uh, it's not what we call in the shelter building business, knackered like the other boxes. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this to support Launchpad and the work that they do supporting, helping people who don't have the choice, who will be either sleeping like this or won't have a permanent place they can call home, which let's face it, is what everybody needs before anything else starts. We're gonna need a bigger box. The one. This is the one. Look at that. Look at that. That's that look. That's me half done, just one box. It's very important to tape up your seams. If it's a breezy evening, you don't want any uh, drafts getting in. Tape up. You may have realised uh, I've identified a snag as a problem here. My big entry box doesn't fit into my next midsection box. Going for a four, four, five, four, five box strategy here. So um, this is when the standing knife comes in. Uh, so I've got to make one go into the other in a snug, tapable join. If you remember Apollo 13. That's how they make the, they make the whole thing work, basically. The whole spaceship is, works basically on gaffer tape. Similar sort of thing. I'm really excited about that. What I've just done there, it's really, it's the, <clears throat> I think it's the way Ferrari build cars, actually. The, the lines I've got on this already, I'm really excited about. So if I put it there, it's a, like a racing car. If 
put it there, it's a shark. I could go either way. At about this stage, it's worth checking that what you've got is going to fit your body shape. Otherwise, it'll need another rethink and maybe some more cardboard. So let's just give that a go. So my artistic mind is saying that this should be the sea in which the shark is swimming. My practical mind is saying this should be insulation for inside. That's what I'm going to go with. Always remember, dry and warm. Don't forget a pillow. Whatever else, don't forget a pillow. Because you won't sleep well if you haven't got a pillow of some sort. Okay, the sun's shining now, all right? And it's calm. But that doesn't mean to say it won't be blowing a hooli on October the 10th. Not much fun sleeping on cardboard on earth yeah, or, or anything. Make sure you've got plenty of layers between you and the ground. Now I haven't waterproofed this, but if you do stick a gazebo over the top of it, no one's gonna worry, you're gonna be fine. Just don't get soggy and wet, it's horrible. Sleeping in damp cardboard, no, not a good idea. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little video of me putting my den together. Um, I hope yours is waterproof, safe, warm and please send us loads of videos of what you've done we want to see them put them on facebook live and let's see what you're up to uh, now next time we speak it will be at about 10 o'clock and you can expect some amazing poetry from jesse blakemore and a bedtime story from the one and only broadcasting legend that is mr chris tarrant oh look who's come to join us Look at this! Oh, hello! Hello! Did you want to check out my den? Did you? Don't wee on it. He's going to wee on it.